What's up everybody? NT Certified here and today is Thursday so what happens on Thursdays? It's Tune In Thursday. So that means that I'm gonna go through all of my pickups for the current week for you uh, pretty much and that's what I'm gonna do today and we're gonna jump right into it. So the first thing that I picked up uh, for myself and some people probably know what these are, but these are N64 labels for uh, the spine of the cartridge. Because I have quite a few uh, N64 games, and I actually want to complete the collection, but it's going to take a while before I get there. But uh, these are like all of the uh, games for N64, and I have a label for each and every one of them. And this is pretty cool. I ordered this from Etsy.com. Uh, if anybody was wondering where you can buy spine labels and stuff like that. And they only cost about 20 bucks, which isn't that bad compared to some of the other prices that I've seen. And maybe some out there cheaper, I don't know. But I think I got a, a pretty good deal for those. And there's some pretty cool, uh, well, I mean, all the classics are here. You know, the Zeldas, uh, Donkey Kong, Doom. Of course, Diddy Kong Racing is there. That's one of my favorite games. Uh, F-Zero X, Conker's Bet Fur Day, Banjo-Kazooie, everything. Everything is there. And I can't wait to put those on my cartridges. But that's only the first thing that I picked up this week. So, Scott P., if you are watching this video right now, or whenever you get a chance to watch this video, you mentioned this game in the comments. I don't know how to pronounce it. Beray, Beray Fighter. So I looked it up, watched a couple of videos of the game, and it looked a lot of fun. So I went ahead and I picked up a copy. Uh, ordered this from eBay. Now, some, a lot of people don't like ordering games from eBay uh, for some reason, but I actually swear by it. Um, I've had some some really good uh, experiences on eBay and when I pick up a lot of my games a lot of them are through like an auction uh, let's say there's an auction where a game is you know 20 bucks and let's say it's selling below you know market value or price charting value or whatever it should be uh, sometimes I'm lucky enough to pick up some pretty good games so that's how I got this, and if you don't know uh, the type of game that this is, you should look it up. It looks really fun. I'm going to play it sometime this week, uh, and it's a shooter. Uh, it's a shoot 'em up It is a shooter, but it's, but it's a lot of fun, but I hear it's really, really difficult, even on the easy difficulty. It's known, notorious for being a difficult game, so I'm up to the challenge, and I'm happy that I have it. I'm going to add that to my NES collection. Very happy about that one. Uh, the next game that I have is Tetris Attack. Now, the reason that I that I like this game is is because I mean it has Yoshi in it, of course. So you you play as Yoshi and you play against all of his friends because all his friends are like possessed or they're under a spell and you have to free them all. Um, I mean, it's Tetris, and it has Yoshi in it, and, and you really don't see games like that anymore, especially from Nintendo, where you have, like, uh, puzzle games, especially something as popular as Tetris, and to have a Nintendo character in it, or a likeness in it, is really, really cool, and I actually got this in the next three games from LetGo.com, and if you don't know what LetGo.com is, it's an app where people put you know items up for sale for their own prices and sometimes you can get some really cool things the guy that I purchased this from had a copy of a uh, chrono trigger and he sold it for a ridiculous amount like half 50% of what the game is worth on eBay and on websites and everything so it's a really good place to look for games and stuff like this so I'm happy to add this to my NES collection for an NES that I don't have yet, but it's coming, it's coming. Next up, Super Mario World, the best NES game ever. This is my favorite 
Super Nintendo game of all time, without a doubt. Now, I know Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3, and most people say that 3 is the classic, Nintendo 64, Nintendo Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy, whatever, whatever. I don't care. Super Mario World is the best Mario game ever. It was absolutely perfect to me. Um, very excited to have it. I don't even know if I have another copy over here. Maybe. Well, now I have two because I liked it so much. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Super Smash TV. Now, this is a great game. This is another shooter. And I wish they would make another game like this today a remake or an HD version or, or something. So, the premise of this game is that you're in the middle of a TV game show and it's either you live or you die. Now, if you die, you die. But if you live, I mean, you get to kill a lot of monsters and stuff like that, but you get prizes for for winning the game. So it's actually like you're in a real life or death game, but at the end, you actually win prizes as if it's an actual game show. So th this is always a classic. And, and it's a lot of fun to play, especially if you have uh, two players. It's a great game to play uh, with two players. And I can't wait to uh, possibly get somebody over here to play it with me because it's a great game. A lot of memories uh, in this game. So very happy to have that. And this gem, to me, this is uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Now, this is a 2D platformer. It's an amazing game. Of course, you're King Arthur. Well, not King Arthur, but you're Arthur. And you're, you're killing all these zombies. And it's, it's not easy. It's not an easy game. And when I saw this, I forgot all about this game. But I had it as a kid. And I totally forgot about it. And then when I looked it up on YouTube and I heard the music, and I'm like, oh my gosh, of course, that's what this game is. But this is amazing, and I can't wait to play it when I get my Super Nintendo, whenever that is. But eventually, I'll have it. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is a must-have. If you don't have it and you have an NES, you need to pick it up now. The last item I have for this week's Tune In Thursday, haven't even opened yet, but I know what it is and I'm ready for it. Now, I don't know what my indie box is, but I plan to look it up. I assume it's similar to the Loot Crate, but I'm not sure. I'll look it up after this video. If you haven't, then go ahead and, and look it up. Indie box. Now. Let's go ahead and open this up. Do I have anything to open it with? I thought I'd use a pencil. What could it be? A lot of bubble wrap. Kidding. It's the Legend of Zelda complete in box. Now I'm sure it's not uh, an original copy. It says Nintendo Entertainment Series Classic Series or Entertainment System Classic Series up on top. But I don't have any of the uh, classic Zelda games. None absolutely none and I know how iconic these games are so I decided to pick one of those up or actually order one of these I got this from eBay as well uh, it's in pretty good shape uh, I mean you can see some wear and tear across the uh, the edges but otherwise this game is in really good shape wherever it was that had this game took pretty good care of it and I'm happy with it and I'm gonna put this on my shelf uh, next to Troubleshooter and Musha for the Sega Genesis. I know there's all Sega games up there on my shelf that are 
uh, in these cases, so it's about time to put a Nintendo game up there because, you know, I'm a Nintendo person. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd be happy to put this up on the shelf. And those are my pickups for the week. So, I'm really excited about next week. Um, I have some different games, and I'm really excited. I'm actually going to do pretty cool unboxing next week so I'm really excited about next week and also coming up I think I'm gonna go to this uh, Nintendo Switch presentation uh, in DC where I get to preview the system and and see all the games so I'm gonna record for that also so that's coming up in a couple weeks so look forward to that also as always I'm NT certified thanks for watching like comment subscribe hit me up on twitter uh follow me on twitch i'm on youtube live sometimes streaming my games i'm all over the place so if you see me say what's up thanks for watching have a good night